Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2 and we are here today with our black rhinoceri which are very very happy because about 80 or so of the warthogs that used to share their exhibit have been adopted out. So oh my goodness I thought the meerkats oh look at the geyser that was so cool. I thought the meerkats were pretty bad about like breeding when I wasn't paying attention to them but the warthogs I must have adopted out close to a hundred different warthogs and now the rhinoceri are like oh finally I can get enough food to I can roam around. Oh, look how awesome they are. I totally forgot we had that geyser too. No wonder people have rated this to be like a five-star tour. That is so cool. But we actually adopted out over 200 animals. So we pulled our animal count down for the entire zoo quite low. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. He's fighting with the hedge fencing. And so is he. Oh, careful there, guys. Careful there. Oh, the rhinoceri are so cool. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, I want to know what people are thinking of the tour. So what does she think of the tour? Can I get on? Can I get her? There we go. Wow, black rhinoceros, rhinoceros ten is a really nice is a really nice touch for this tour. Look at the rhinoceri, meerkat two twenty nine or like two ninety two, is a really nice touch for this tour. I think warthog one hundred two is amazing. So apparently Karen is having a oh what? Finnick fox was attacked and killed. What happened here? By whom? By another Finnick fox? Did you just did you just kill another Finnick fox? Oh my gosh! I can't believe that! Cannibalism! Cannibalism among our Finnick foxes! Who would have thought it? But yeah, we actually adopted out well over 150 animals to try to make things a little bit easier for everybody. Tons of the giraffes, we did that last time, adopted out tons and tons of the giraffes, tons of the sifakas, and we're actually down to only about five meerkats right now. And I left a couple What? Attacked and killed? Who is doing this? Finnick Fox 94, did you just kill two of your siblings? Finnick Fox 94? Oh my gosh! I think you just killed like... He's just like eliminating his siblings! This is not what we wanted by survival of the fittest, sir. I'm gonna release you to the wild. You've got the like... Hood spot to be able to survive there, jeez. Alright, well that was unexpected. I'm so sorry if that traumatized any of our guests. My gosh. But yeah, we released tons of animals to the wild um, and adopted a ton of them out. We have a bazillion dollars now. Well, not really, we have about $4 million. And I was actually thinking we might use that money to work on building the African elephant exhibit because I think that would be a major draw, really pull a lot of people to the back of the zoo. I think that would be a lot of fun, but we're down to 144 animals, and we were well over 400 when I started adopting out all of the extras. Now, there have been a few that have been dying of old age, like we just had one of the African spurred tortoises, our only male, just passed away of old age. Oh, look at the little ones. Are you guys doing okay? African spurred tortoise 10, I know your mate just passed away. Oh my gosh, look at the little spurred tortoise. Her African spurred tortoise 9 was the mate of African spurred tortoise. Uh, three. And three had been around for a very long time. His mate had actually passed away of old age eons ago. Look at her. She's just sitting there. Oh, that's so cool. So we'll go ahead and put in a new small male. <gasps> and Cheetah 13 is going to give birth. Oh my goodness. So I didn't even know the cheetahs were pregnant. So we'll check in on that in just a second too. But I want to get a new little small male African tortoise that we can put in here. And yeah, now that we have so much money, I actually was thinking about adding in the elephants to the back corner and maybe hippos at some point. And looking at what other animals we could potentially add in that are endangered or critically endangered because we are trying to get the critically endangered animal baby statue because that sounds like a fun goal to go towards and a noble goal at that. All right, so let's see. Savannah, 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 where are we? Looking for tropical Savannah. There we go. All right, a spurred tortoise in here? No, I think that's gonna be under the desert. Um, but while we're in here, so here's the African bush elephant. Now this one does count as endangered, so breeding these guys would be a good idea. Hippos, um, I'm pretty sure they're common, they're vulnerable, so they wouldn't be, breeding them wouldn't give us any of the points towards getting the endangered baby um, statue, which would be really fun, but I think it would be nice to have some hippos over by the Nile crocodiles, kind of making sure they don't escape. And some gray crowned cranes. I would love to add those guys in as well and just see if they do all right, if they're not broken. Sometimes when you get the white um, texture, like right here, that means the mod is broken. Don't use it. 
The bat-eared fox. Oh my gosh, that would be so much fun. The bat-eared fox would be really fun. Again, it's not endangered though. So I'm trying to just keep an eye out. African civet, vulnerable, not endangered. African buffalo can maybe wander around with the elephants. That would be pretty cool. The roan antelope. I actually saw some antelope at the North Carolina Zoo when we went a couple weeks ago. And that was really exciting. Which was really like amazing to me that I was so excited. The giant sable antelope. Now this one is critically endangered, and I think that's mostly due to habitat loss, if I remember correctly. And I don't think these are the antelope that had that horrific disease that just knocked out like 90% of the population uh, earlier this year. Do you guys remember that? That was really alarming, and it was kind of in the news for a little bit, because this one species of, <clears throat> I'm not sure if it was antelope, but they were definitely hoofed creatures that lived in Africa in a very small area due to habitat loss, really low population, combination of hunting and habitat loss. And like 70 or 90 percent of them, a huge majority of them, just died all of a sudden. And they thought it was due to an unexplained disease that they're trying to get to the bottom of now. But that was just really alarming to already have such a critically endangered population. And then a virus just comes in and wipes out almost all of them. So hopefully like they'll be able to survive, but the pictures were like really scary because it was just fields and fields of dead antelope everywhere. And it was, it was really, it was a sad thing to see. So giant sable antelope, you are on my list. Maybe we'll just build a big giant plains area that we can put the elephants and the antelope on and let them breed and have babies. And then maybe some ostriches can be wandering around. I really love ostriches. The more I learn about them, the more awesome they seem. I think the domestic pig is okay at being one of the more common species on the planet. And let's see, we already have the white rhinoceros, which is doing quite well. We have the black rhinoceros, which is breeding actively in its rhinoceros area. Here's the serval, which currently is not listed as endangered, at least in this game. I'm not sure if it has been updated to be more endangered or not. I don't think the serval, unlike the sand cat, is really, um, is caught too often for the pet trade. At least not to the point where it decimates the population, so we'll have to see. Then there's an extinct species of warthog, which would kind of be fun. I'm okay with putting him next to our other warthogs just to have like a side-by-side -side comparison one day. Um, let's see, normal warthog, the water buck, which again could just be one of those things that's roaming around in the exhibits. Plain zebra, blue wildebeest. So we have at least two more species we can try to breed if we put in... Um, a big savanna area for the elephants to kind of roam around. And then let's go ahead and see. So we're looking for, or, or we could just look at the endangered list or critically endangered list. There's an idea. In just a second, we'll do that because I want to come up with lots of ideas for what we could put in. But first, I need to go ahead and put in a little, a little mill. We need a little mill, African spurred tortoise that can hang out with these lovely ladies in here. And he's going to be our little Don Juan of the tortoise world. So he's going to hang out down here. Hopefully have some lovely ladies that he can make very happy. Have some more turtle eggs being laid. And then we do have these kind of tropical areas. I was thinking of doing another tropical area, kind of like we did for the lemurs and the sifakas. Um, if they will accept another animal in here, there's zebra doikers, lemurs, ringtail lemurs, and... Um, the safakas in here, which are kind of like another type of, I think they're related to lemurs. They're kind of like a monkey, but I'm pretty sure they're, they're more closely related to lemurs, the safakas. I'll have to double check though. So don't quote me on that. But I was thinking we could put in like more tropical areas. So we have our restaurant that we still need to build over here. And we need to put some bridges and things probably like just come back over here. Here's where I want to start with the elephant exhibit and just have it curve back and maybe come over here. And then all of the area in between here, we could put a whole bunch of little exhibits, maybe some tropical exhibits. Because um, there's a lot of jungle in Africa too. Africa covers desert, jungle, like the Savannah Plains. You've got the lush Nile like river. You've got empty, like huge empty deserts with giant sand dunes. So there's a lot of stuff we can put in here. And let's see, let's look under, let's just look under what animals are endangered really quickly because we're coming up with some good ideas of what to put in. I'm getting really excited. Getting so excited. Um, the Azucan donkey, a Spanish donkey that's temperate grassland. So not quite what we're looking for. Um, we could put in an endangered frog or a false girl, which would actually be from Asia. So there's, you know, there's some options, grizzly bear. 
I didn't know the grizzly bear was considered endangered. That's interesting. The kagu, a rare crane, which we actually had in um, our bird quest that we did a long time ago. Oh, and if you guys see something, a golden bamboo lima. Oh, even because we have some lemurs here, we could do like another little exhibit for lemurs. Oh, I want to do the golden bamboo lemur. That would be really fun. If you guys see something that just jumps out at you and you're like, yes, yes, I want to see that in the zoo, then let me know. Um, the Borneo orangutan uh, is kind of more towards Asia, but you know, we're looking at lots of things. Ethiopian mountain nyla. We've got the European otter, pandas. We've got pandas and red pandas over in our Asian forest zone. So we'll be visiting that one pretty soon too. We have the platypus, which I really love. I love platypus. I don't know, there's the Persian leopard. I don't know if I want to put platypi in this particular exhibit, but I'm tempted. Now the South Island Takahi, ta uh, ta there we go, the Takahi. I wasn't aware that that guy was endangered, but he's really cute. He's really cute. And the Oriental Stork, I could see us having just like a tiny little Takahi like area right here actually. Oh, that would be so perfect. That would be so perfect. And then we could breed them. There's the Tapir, which is gonna be more of like your Central American animals. Um, there's a whole bunch of turtles. And then the European wildcat. Hmm. So we'll probably have to pull in some species if we want to get that statue for this zone that you normally wouldn't find over here. So let's look at critically endangered. Was that it? Was that critically endangered? No, this is a different list. Okay. Oh, here we go. Like a Fijian crested iguana. That would work just fine. Or Spix macaw, Florida panther, Sumatran striped rabbit is a favorite of mine. The Javian rhinoceros. Now that one would be kind of fun to add because we do already have a couple of rhinoceri. So, you know, maybe we could throw a Javian rhinoceros in with the other rhinoceri and see what happens. There's the ivory billed woodpecker. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. Arabian wolf. The Arabian wolf would actually be a really good one to add in. <gasps> we will add in the Arabian wolf somewhere, you guys. In fact, we actually have a section that we're not using down here that would probably be pretty good. Mark this off, make a little wolf exhibit. There's a couple more exhibit, like a room for exhibits. The Ethiopian wolf is probably another is, where, where is Ethiopia? I'm having an embarrassing moment where I can't identify where the heck Ethiopia is. So it's either a really good idea to add over here or a really terrible one and has nothing to do with this zone. So we'll find out. But I'm feeling totally invigorated now. So we're still working on getting lots and lots of educational resources going. I kind of want to put a gift shop up by our lions now. So let's see, we're going to put a little restaurant over here. Maybe a little restaurant and gift shop area to try to attract the guest back here more restaurants because I don't know about you guys but eh, you know it's nice to go to a little sit-down restaurant and kind of relax sometimes I feel like the guests would be feeling that so we have roaming rhino delights and let's see there was gonna be if I move this around cheetah 13 has given birth oh my goodness yay cheetah cubs so exciting but if I was gonna have a little restaurant next to the crocodiles maybe and crocodile 3 is now going to lay another egg. That is very, very exciting. Maybe put the restaurant right here. Now here's the problem of where to put it. You know what, I think we're okay to replace this wall right here. At least that much with rock. Because we have a lot of other viewing, or we even have a bridge you can view the Nile crocodiles from. And I think trying to attract our guests back here with a nice restaurant is pretty darn important. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. Hello, ma'am. What do you need? I really need to use the bathroom. Wonderful. We have one built right over here. I hope they consider building some desert themed buildings on this tour. They look cool. Okay. So desert themed buildings that we've gotten that a lot for the tour that is over with the Arabian horses. So I wonder what that is all about. Hmm. Like if I was going to build desert themed buildings on the tour, what would that look like? I need to look into that. Mossy Eye Giraffe 16 is going to give birth. All right, ooh, look at this person. The music really makes me want to dance. Neat, Nile Crocodile 3 is splashing in the water. Nile Crocodile 4 looks comfortable in its habitat. All right, giving the zoo donation. Now where's she going? Oh, look at her. So she has a photo. She's got the ringtail lemur stuffed animal. She has got the, ooh, we need, Nile Crocodile 5 was attacked and killed. <gasps> no! The baby crocodiles, they cannot survive here. 
Now Crocodile 1 has once again practiced cannibalism. This is terrible. So next time we have an egg laid, we're gonna have to like, we're gonna have to have like a little, I'm gonna cordon off like this area right here, I guess. And it'll just have to be the baby crocodile safety zone until it can get big enough to deal with the adults. Oh my gosh, that's just, that's so sad. That's so sad. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna casually like cordon this off. And then when the egg is laid, we'll move it over here and the baby can grow up safely. <laughs> can grow up safely because now both of the Nile crocodile babies have been killed and eaten. That's terrible. Oh, look at her. Look at her. She's diving into the restaurant. Oh, that's so good. Oh, and Zinnia, the, the zebra has just passed away of old age. That's so sad. She was one of my favorites. All right. And now we're going to put another little gift shop back here. Because if people are super happy, maybe they want to buy some cool stuff. Where should I put the gift shop? Maybe I'll do... Hmm. Put the gift shop right here. I just, I like areas where you can at least like have a break of being able to look at the animals though. So maybe right over here. So I'm going to try putting the gift shop there. Wow, African wild dog too is giving birth. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No, I want to see the babies. So we have more African wild dog babies, you guys. Oh, that's so exciting. That is so exciting. Okay. Where are the babies? I want to see them. <gasps> I hear them. Did you hear that? Oh, the desert monitor just gave birth too. Hello, puppies. Hello, how are you guys doing? There's some new babies. Oh, hello, little one. Look at him. Oh, they're so loud. Hi guys, and you guys have had some absolutely amazing facts about the African wild dogs down in the comments. So if you guys are really like wondering, what is the African wild dog like? Then look back in some of the comments back on like the puppy episode. And there are people who supply so much information that I just, ah, I love it. I love how much we can share the knowledge of the natural world with each other. It's so much fun. Also Nile Crocodile 4 is now pregnant with an egg that I'm going to safely remove. Oh, look, look, look there's people. It's the, it's the lady again! Yay! Educational... Watching educator Margam is very educational. That's exactly what we want to see. That's exactly what we want to see. Family restaurant 2 has reasonable prices. What? I only have two restaurants? Wow. Alright, we're gonna rename this one, um, Leaping Lions... Uh, just Leaping Lions Restaurant? Leaping Lions Eatery? <laughs> Leaping Lions Lunch. Luncheons. Leaping lions luncheons. There we go. Because I love alliteration. Alright, we're going to kind of spruce up the entrance a little bit. Put down, put down some fancy things. Maybe put down a couple trees in just a second. Alright, roadrunners are growing up. I'm going to like tuck a tree right here, even though it's not very practical. Because I really love plants. Oh, there's a little kid walking past the educator here. I want to eat at the restaurant! Yes! That's what we needed. We needed the restaurant to start pulling people back here. So we have figured out several more of the endangered species and shout out, like I said in the comments down below, to let me know which ones you really love because we're going to be adding in a lot of those endangered species pretty soon. I'm very excited. I can't wait until our lions decide to maybe expand their little pride. So hopefully they will, they will consider that. I don't think our, our male has yet to impress any of the females yet though. Oh, he's strutting. He's strutting around and using the scratching post. Well, that's awesome. So hopefully I'll impress one of the females pretty soon. We're starting to attract people back here with the lure of delicious food at Leaping Lions luncheons. And did the, look, the bluegill, the bluegill managed to get into the safety zone. He's like, yes, touchdown. Nobody can eat me in here. At least when, and not until the babies are, are laid. So we'll find the baby Nile crocodiles and move them safely over here so they stop being cannibalized. And yeah, so next time I think what we're going to work on is possibly getting more of the elephant exhibit just sort of prepared. Oh, and look at that! African Spur Tortoise 9 has already like decided that this new guy, he's pretty cool, and she's gonna lay an egg! Oh, let's, let's, let's just watch for a second. It takes a little while for her to, to kind of make her way around the place. Find somewhere comfy where she can lay her egg. Hello, lovely. Is this a good spot? Nope. We're still, we're still moving. You gotta respect somebody that kind of carries their house on their back. It's, that can't be the lightest thing in the world. Alright, hi, sweetie. I'm glad you've gone along with your new guy. 
And you want to have a little egg? Is she gonna- is she gonna like lay it? We might have to come back to, like next time and she'll still be crawling her way over to finding a spot to lay her egg actually. In fact, I think we'll do that because I think she's gonna take a little while. So I will see you guys next time. Like I said, let me know what um, of the many amazing endangered species we can potentially add to our zoo, which one you are most interested in because I would love to do some more research on all of them. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!